I am miserable. I am not enjoying this at all. I really hate it. <laughs> I'm hating this entire vlog. I'm hating this entire experience. I am not enjoying myself. What's up you guys, welcome to my channel. I am Jaleesa and if you are not new, if you are a returning person, welcome back. I don't ever read fantasy, so this is gonna be really new for me. I did a poll and asked you guys what y'all wanna see next. And for some reason, you guys wanna see me read fantasy. Y'all wanna see me crash and burn, obviously, cause that's what's gonna happen at the end of this video. I have no doubt about it. I have my, my fantasy books right here that I'm gonna be reading. Um, I have no idea what I'm even reading. <laughs> be so fun okay so this next one is the midnight lie by marie rakowski ow rakowski i don't know what this is about i don't know i don't know what it's about but you guys do because you guys read these books and i know a lot of y'all read this book before so hmm, it doesn't matter what if i know or not i'm gonna find out so i'm gonna read it so this is the first one i'm actually gonna read so i'm gonna read this one first um and then i'm gonna read uh the city we became next so this will be the first one on the reading vlog so before it gets too late and I change my mind about this whole video, uh, let's just go ahead and start reading um, The Midnight Lie. We're going to get into this. We're going to love it. I hope. So, all right, here we go. So I just forgot. I didn't even tell you guys what time it is right now. So it's currently July 31st, 1.02 p.m. So I'll be reading until August 1st, 1 o'clock p.m. tomorrow. Okay, so I'm only on chapter 5, which is like page 16. <laughs> I just read a part in this book, in The Midnight Lie, and it was talking about how <clears throat> Raven was teaching Niram how to be quiet. And she was like, oh, how are you going to teach me? And she's like, put your hand flat on the floor and spread your fingers and i'm like what's she doing and then this woman let she lowered her chair on the web like this part of her thumb it mine's ashy but um she lowered the chair on that part of her thumb and was, i mean her skin was like now be quiet <laughs> okay so i am to page 44 in the midnight lie and i was thinking about something so in this book you have people called kith so you have high kith middling and then you have uh half kith and then you have like unkith apparently too and i was just thinking so like the high kith like to take from everybody else Niram, she's like describing um all the things people can be like all the things that can be taken from you so like she said that she was the judge that she was seeing because she just got arrested the judge that was she was looking at had like dark hair but she could tell it was a wig probably taken from a, a half kid and i was like you know the half kids are like lowly you high kids are taking from half kids to make your life better like they take blood fingers sometimes they do like things for like pain sometimes they take like your hair or your eyelashes or your blood which is strange to me it's almost like half kith have something that the high kith want but don't actually possess naturally and they have to take it from the half kith it's just so interesting and fascinating i don't know i need for you guys to know that if i don't finish my books it's because um i'm on base time and clean is the reason why okay so i'm um about i'm on page 122 of the midnight lie um so far i mean i'm feeling like a tad bit underwhelmed with the story um because i'm almost to the halfway point and nothing like i don't know like so far there's nothing we're talking about <laughs> like if that makes sense um so right now i all that's happened all that's happened is Niram. she got arrested for returning the elysium bird to the militiamen they arrested her 
Um, she was supposed to be in jail for a month, but she ended up only being there for three days because Sid, who she thought was a boy, was actually a girl, um, somehow got her and got the two of them out of jail early. I will say Sid's personality is very intriguing. I really like her personality. I think it's, I think she's really fun. Um, that whole scene like uh, with her talking to Niram in jail uh, was, I liked it. The, the conversation was, um, it was like, f I don't want to say funny because it wasn't really funny, but it was interesting. Um, so that, I, I do like Sid's character so far. Niram, I don't really care about her. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really care about her at all. Um, I do feel like she's special. I'm not sure how yet or why, but she seemed like she might be like some special somehow, some way. Um, they talked about magic a little bit so far. Um, and I will say the most interesting part of this book so far is probably this idea that the High Kith are keeping all these secrets from both middlings, but especially from Half Kith. And I do wonder what all do High Kith know that the Half Kith don't? Why? Why do you guys want their blood? I do want these questions to be answered. I'm almost halfway through the book and like nothing really has happened. So, I mean, Niram did, she did make a, a fake passport and go outside of the ward. So she's seen a little bit of the city now, but like even that was like kind of underwhelming. Like that whole, that whole like, description of how she was, what she was seeing visualizing out in the city. Like, I didn't feel like this, like I didn't, I feel like Niram should have been more in awe of what she saw. And I didn't get that as I was reading it. Underwhelming so far as it'll least. Okay, so let's get into this book, shall we? Um, I'm trying really hard not to deed up this book. Like, it's 9.30 at night, and I am more than halfway done with The Midnight Lie. I mean, honestly, the only thing I think I'm invested in in this book is Sid. I love Sid. Like, I really love Sid. Um, I love her character. I think she's funny, I think she's interesting, um, just I love Sid. I'm trying to understand why nothing seems to happen until like the climax doesn't come until like the last third of the book. I don't, I'm trying, I'm really trying you guys. <laughs> How do y'all do this? I don't, Ooh, okay. Um, so where do I start to unpack this book? Um, so I just finished The Midnight Lie. It is approximately one in the morning. If you guys hear someone talking in the background, I'm on, on the background, I'm on FaceTime with my friend. He's playing a game, so you'll hear him probably. I try to turn it down, but. Um, wow, okay, so literally one, can y'all see the time? Not really, it's 1.19 in the morning. So initially, I was telling you guys that I really didn't care for Niram and like her character at all. She was just really boring. Honestly, she was boring until like page 330. Like, I didn't really care for her character. I just wasn't invested in her as a person. Um, her story, I knew her story would be interesting eventually. It just took a long time. I still think Sid is one of the most fascinating characters on this, in this entire book. She is, first of all, Sid kind of smooth, like, She's kind of smooth. Um, I was really feeling her character a lot. Um, she was funny and she was charismatic and I loved her character. Um, so Niram, she obviously I knew she was special from the beginning, 
but like finding out that she actually so okay okay back up so i told you guys i had a theory that the half kith maybe were special and like the high kith weren't and they were taking from like the half kith for a reason i was right ding 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 um so this whole book is based around like um gods and so like um ethan or ethan i'm not sure how to play i'm gonna call it ethan i think it's called ethan um ethan which is what the place is called um the history of this place so pretty much back in the day long time ago um there were gods and there were mortals and the gods decided to pretty much have kids with some of the mortals and they created half gods or in other words half kids um and the half gods have, of course possess powers but some stuff went down and um they tried the half gods tried to kill one of the gods and then they just decided that they needed to go ahead and build a wall to keep the half kids from um mingling with other people and then they the god stole the memories of everyone so um the half kids don't know they have powers but unfortunately the half kids now in this time period um they're so far removed from their half gods and like their parents and their ancestors that they don't a lot of them don't possess any powers anymore but some of them still do um so pretty much um the story it's really oh yeah i really liked it i really did enjoy this book um it took a long time i feel like it didn't need to take that long like two-thirds of the book was really boring like i was bored um and honestly if i wasn't doing the vlog for this i probably would have dnf'd it <laughs> so overall i would give this book probably a 3.5 out of 5 stars it's not a four-star book for me but definitely 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was it was good. Um, the world building wasn't hard to follow along. It actually felt kind of on the more basic end. Um, it just, for me, it just took too long to get to like the meat of the book. Like, I just feel like I keep reading fantasy books where it just takes so long to get to the meat of the story, the heart of the story. It's like, why am I reading the heart of the story in the last 100 pages? You know what I mean? Like. There was no high intensity moments. There was no action really at all. The love was cute. Sid and Niram, it was cute. I really was rooting for them so hard. Overall, not bad for the first book. Okay, so I had a list of books, I told you guys in the beginning, that I was gonna read. And I really sat here and struggled for like 20 minutes after finishing The Midnight Lie because I was gonna read Serpent and Dove but I really have seen so many people not like this book and I just don't want to go into a book that people like a lot of people disliked and a lot of people like like I don't want to read a book that half people liked and like half people hated so because <laughs> I have a couple of book friends book two friends who rave about this book I have seen nothing but good things about it for people who read fantasy and I feel like if I'm gonna read a fantasy book I'm gonna go all the way I'm about to read the fifth season by N.K. Jemison. I'm over here really reaching right now because I feel like it's a good chance I might not like it because it's fantasy and I think it might be high fantasy. I'm a little nervous and I'm honestly very intimidated by this book. Um, <laughs> and Monet just tweeted me back. I tweeted her and she said, be prepared to be confused. LOL, just enjoy the ride. So I'm honestly just doing this for fun, you guys. Like this is just me diving into the fantasy world. So. Here we go. Let's do this. And honestly, it's so funny because I actually, um, I have it on my Kindle and I, I felt like for some reason I needed to get it as an audiobook too. And I don't usually, I never actually listen to audiobooks, but it's getting later at night. It's 1.51 in the morning and I have no doubt I'm going to get tired soon. And like my eyes are going to just be tired of reading words. So I just figured let's just listen to the audiobook and it might help it go along faster for me so we're gonna we're gonna try this out um, I am six percent of the way done with the fifth season by N.K. Jemison and uh, I'm not confused but I'm lost I'm not gonna flex all I know so far about this book is that the world ends apparently but it's like a, the beginning of something uh, the lady I don't even know her freaking name the main character, the woman, her son died, her daughter is missing. 
she laid next to her son's corpse for two days. Like, that's all I know. Like, I, I don't even know. She has some kind of power, some kind of abilities, because she was able to keep an, uh, this earthquake that was caused by something in the beginning in the epilogue, I mean, not the epilogue, the prologue, um, that's supposed to be causing the end of the world, apparently. But she was able to... to protect the area that she lived in so like the quake the damage happened like literally around where she lived not in amongst where she lived but honestly I'm so freaking tired I don't even know how much I can read it's freaking 3 or 4 in the morning and if y'all don't believe me I'm gonna show y'all my phone hold up so y'all can see I'm still on FaceTime but oh you know what I can do this see that 3 or 4 a.m. <laughs> So I'm really out here reading, reading y'all. Like I'm really trying to do this 24 hour reading vlog. It's just that I don't know if I can do it cause I'm freaking sleepy. And I know if I take a nap right now, I'm gonna be asleep for all night. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow around like noon and have like an hour to read a book, to finish a book. That's not gonna happen. So maybe I'm gonna continue to try to a 24 hour reading vlog. If I fail, which I probably will, I'll just make this a regular just a reading vlog. So did I pass or fail the 24 hour reading vlog? I just woke up. It is noon. I definitely went to sleep. <laughs> to be completely honest, the fifth season is a little, a lot different than anything I've ever read before. I am 12% into the book, which is kind of actually really, um, trash with me because I've been sitting in the same spot since like noon o'clock and it's 3.40 and I I haven't gotten that far into the book. I've been on my phone, I've been on Twitter, Instagram, watching TV uh, and then the, the woman the woman who's the mom of Uche and Nassin, Nassun, I don't know. Um, Right now she's leaving, she's fleeing town because she's oh she's one of those people I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know if she's a or or origin 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 or if she's something else. I I don't really know what's going on. I know she's leaving, and Rask is walking her to the gate to leave leave the place that they live at, which is called something with a T. I don't remember. I was gonna say tiramisu. <laughs> it's not called tiramisu. It's called tier tier something. Okay, you guys, we're gonna make sense of this book right now. All right, so just bear with me for a second. I need to get an expo marker because we're about to go to class. We're here to talk about <clears throat> a book I'm currently reading from my reading vlog. Let's have a look, shall we? <clears throat> can you guys see? Probably not, hold on. I can tell you what I've read so far. I can give you like specific details of certain parts that just stuck in my brain. But like in a general sense, I don't really know what's happening in this book. And Kate Jimison, I'm sure you're amazing. I just don't know what the heck's happening. The language is confusing. So yeah, all I can tell you is that ragas are feared because they have powers that are uncontrollable. And they, oh, oh, I forgot something important. Um, The fulcrum, fulcrum. I don't actually know who the heck the fulcrum is. Um, they have guardians to protect them. Well, not protect them, protect everyone else. They have guardians signed to them to con to ensure that they are safe, they are, they can keep the world around them safe from the ragas. And then you have the fulcrum, the fulcrum, I don't know what the fulcrum actually is right now, I just keep the word keep getting thrown around, so there's a fulcrum. And then, boom, that's the whole book. So far, I don't know what the point of the book is yet, so. I feel like I'm reading like three different books in one book. This is a lot. It's a lot. I don't know how I gotta do this. So don't be mad at me. Um, <laughs> I got to 62% of the way um, in the fifth season. I'm DNFing it. So, okay, before y'all get mad at me and come from my neck, I can see what, I can see why people like this book. I really can. N.K. Jemison's writing style is very different than anything I'm used to. I do believe that if I had read the appendix first. It might have helped me out a little bit because as I was reading, I was just confused. I'm like, there were some things that I feel like were kind of like context. I can use context to figure out what it was. Other things, I'm like, what the freak is, what is this? There are a couple things I want to note though about this book. So, I really 
only care about two characters in this book right now. Only two that I really feel like I'm invested in, that I care about, that I like, I'm gonna finish the book for the two of them. And that's Hoa and Alabaster. Um, I don't know what it is about Alabaster. He makes me laugh. I have laughed countless times um, uh, in this book because of him. And he's kind of charming. Like, it's weird. Like, he, he's kind of charming in a way. I don't know what it is about him, but I like his character a lot. Um, now, Hoa is different. I don't know. I don't know what his story is yet, but I would like to know more about him. Now, this book is giving me, like, Earthbender feels when I read it. Like, my mind my mind goes to, like, Earthbenders for Avatar. That's just how I've been, like, trying to interpret the book and, like, visualize it in my head for it to make sense. Like, nothing in the book has really been, like, grabbing me. Like, I feel like, uh, but yeah. So, I'm sorry. I feel like I failed you guys. I do. I feel like I failed you guys. Um, with this reading vlog, I hope not. I hope you guys can still stand me after this. Yeah, all right, but you guys, I'm about to go because I'm gonna go, ahead, gonna go ahead and try to edit video because I need to. It's like 1230 in the morning right now. I should be asleep, not sitting here recording, talking to you guys. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Good night. <laughs> I feel like I need to put a disclaimer in here really fast because I tweeted that I wasn't, I tweeted that I DNF'd the fifth season at 62% and Tammy, um, from, um, Tammy tries to read on Twitter, she was like, I DNF'd it right before the plot twist. So, I mean, I'm definitely going to finish this book. I'm just not going to finish it in time for this vlog because, um, it's just a lot. I'm gonna put this book down for a couple of days and I need my video to go up before then. So per this vlog, I will not be finishing the book. I will be finishing the book this week though, at some point in time, just not today. So I feel like I needed to put that disclaimer in really fast um, before y'all came for me. Cause like this book is just, this is a favorite for a lot of people. So, um, but yeah, and um, yeah, so, okay.